It's time. It's the right time for us to make changes. It's the right time for us to emancipate ourselves from the chains of hopelessness. It's the right time for us to come up with those strong ideas in terms of how to make South Africa a better place. Look, the reality is very naked. The truth is very naked. Our country is dominated by bad stories. Some talk about poor service delivery. Some talk about poor state of education. Potholes. Poor housing. I don't want to talk about load shedding. You know, I was reading, I was reading an article a few days ago about cholera that is actually attacking people in, 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 in Hamas scrap. You know, there's just negativity across all corners of, of Zanzi. But some commanders are actually saying, now or never, time for changes now. Beautiful song of San Komota. Look, you know, during the day I was talking to one of our, our associates. And, and then the guy said to me, you know, as, as a rainbow nation, as South Africans, we belong to different belief systems. <laughs> we belong to different calendars. Some are saying, Happy New Year. Those that believe in the Gregorian calendar. Some are saying, no, we're in the fifth month. Now to summarize everything, allow me to say to you, I hope you enjoyed your holidays. I hope you enjoyed your holidays. Whether, whether it's a new year, whether you're in the fifth month of the year, whether you're in the tenth month of the year, but one thing in common is that we had holidays. Yes, my name is Mighty Mahul on Good Life Radio, doing Good Life Talk. Our talk, your inspiration. There's no way that we can talk about a better South Africa if you don't have a good life. There's no way that we can have a better South Africa if you don't have a, 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 a powerful talk. There's no way that we can have a good life in this country if you don't have inspiration. As I've already indicated, the levels of despondency are very high. The levels of hopelessness are very high. The levels of enthusiasm are very, very low. There's negativity across all the corners. But now we are here on Good Life Talk. We are here for inspiration. We are here for healing. We are here for empowerment. We are here for hope. We are here for development. The only thing that we want from you is for you to take a decision and say, success begins with one's will. If you want to make it, you will make it. If you believe you will never make it, you will never make it. There's no book that can change your life. No development program that can change your life. No motivational talk that can change your life. No healing that can change your life. Success begins with one's will. If you think you will do it, you will do it. If you think you are never going to do it, you will never do it. Yes, this is good life talk. Our talk. Your inspiration. This is Good Life Radio. We'll be together until 8. Sankomata is saying now or never. Time for changes now. Time for development is now. Time for proper, proper, proper empowerment is now. Time for proper leadership is now. After 30 years of democracy, approximately 30 years of democracy, our, our, our media is still mesmerized. Our media is still dominated by negativity. But we are saying on Good Life Radio, we are the hope. We are the hope. We are the light. We are the inspiration. We are the motivation. We are the development. It's up to you to be part of the narrative. It's up to you to be part of the journey. But San Comodos is reminding us the time for change is now. The time for development is now. Now one is asking himself, what is this guy? What is this guy talking about? Where is this guy coming from? My name is Mighty Mawil. You can call me Mighty Man. Some call me the Mighty One. You can call me the Great. I'm part of Good Life Radio. I I'm, I'm doing the talk. We are changing the narrative. We are inspiring the nation. We are bringing hope. We are bringing motivation. We are bringing development. But remember, remember, a journey of 1,000 miles begin with a single step. And the step that you are supposed to take yourself is to say, look, I'm looking forward. Either you are in the fifth month of the year, if you don't believe in the Gregorian calendar, if you are, you are in the African calendar, 
and then you're in the first month of the year. But what is important is that you are the architect of your own fortune. You are the driver of your own destiny. You are the vehicle of your own prosperity. Believe it or not, no book will change your life. No motivational talk will change your life. No narrative will change your life. Tony Robbins, I mean Stephen Covey speaks about the inside out approach. You must have that audacity to inspire yourself and emancipate yourself from the chains of hopelessness. An entrepreneur is a community developer. An entrepreneur is a social change agent. An entrepreneur is a teacher. An entrepreneur is a social worker. That's why entrepreneurship should not be part of business studies. It should be part of the social science. Because when you're an entrepreneur, you're focusing on solutions that are challenging the country. The load shedding that you're experiencing. Need entrepreneurs to solve it. Now or never. Time for change is now. Time for prosperity is now. Talk to us. Talk to us on Good Life Radio. Talk to us as our talk. Talk to us as part of your inspiration. Talk to us. We are on social media platforms. Facebook, TikTok, LinkedIn. You name them. We are there. Talk to us. Talk to us and listen to us if you want healing. Talk to us and listen to us when you want inspiration. Talk to us and listen to us when you want hope. Talk to us and listen to us when you want motivation. Talk to us and listen to us when you want development. Today we are talking, we are reflecting. We are reflecting today. We are reflecting today on the state of entrepreneurship. We are reflecting on the successes and failures of businesses, of entrepreneurs in 2023. Well, it's a reflection. We talk about successes. We talk about failures. But remember, there are some entrepreneurs that we'll be talking to. There are some companies that we'll be talking to that requested that look good life radio we want to be part of this community of empowerment we want to be part of this light of hope we want to be part of this moving vehicle of change and we said we can't say no because good life radio is a church of all good life radio is a community for anyone that want change good life radio is a vehicle it's a track full of people that want to bring south africa to a better angle that's what Good Life Radio is all about. Send up a WhatsApp. 063-210-7834. Studio contact 064-896-2911. Even an email. Maybe you're interested in saying, look, I want to be part of this moving narrative. I want to be part of this positive change. I want to advertise in this vehicle. I want to advertise in this vehicle. And I don't want to scare you in terms of how many people are listening to us. You know, one day I, 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 was, I was actually mentoring one executive in, 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 in one big company. And I was amazed when the lady was saying, you know what, Mr. Mabule, I love the self-mastery talk. I love the self-mastery topic. Because for as long as we are not aware of our mineral rights, for as long as we are not aware of the power that we have, for as long as we are not aware, for as long as we are not aware, of the commodity that we have, we will never change this country. And I said, you were listening. He said, yes. I love the radio. I love the show. Someone from Brazil called. Someone from Togo called. Wherever you are, wherever you are, this is, this is digital. We live in an information age. Wherever you are, talk to us. We'll reflect on the success. We'll reflect on the failures. Now we're going to play a song. When I give you time. You know, one of my, my old mentors said, there's three powerful L's in life. He said the first one is love. If you don't have love, if you don't have love, you are not alive. Because well, love is one of the powerful L's of life. So when you're an entrepreneur, you must love your employees, love your customers, love your suppliers. Be concerned about your ecosystem partners. And he said, another one is leave. You must live in accordance with the certain regulations. You must live with accordance with the certain, you know, etiquette. You must live in accordance with certain rules as an entrepreneur, as a businessman. And he said, the last one is legacy. You must leave your footprints in the sand of history and refuse to carry your potential to the cemetery. 
You must leave your footprints in the center of history. You must write your obituary when you're still alive. You must decide what you want people to say about you. And the group that I find acting in accordance with these three L's are entrepreneurs. They live to touch the lives of people. They change the narrative. They solve societal problems. And they love their customers. They love their suppliers. They love their ecosystem. And they leave legacy. They refuse to carry their potential to the cemetery. The great Miles Monroe said the richest place in the world is not the diamond mines of South Africa or the oil fields of Kuwait, but the cemetery. Because right there at the cemetery, that's where you find passions and dreams and talents that were not turned into powerful programs to change the world. But entrepreneurs are saying, now or never, we are using our talents, we are using our passion, we are using our knowledge, we are using our skills, we are using our trades to change the narrative. Because the greatest part of living is to touch the lives of others. Now some entrepreneurs, remember we are reflecting on the successes. 2023 successes and failures. And there are a number of ones that I'll be sharing with you that came from different entrepreneurs before we start calling them. And they said, the first one is still red tape. They said it's still red tape. They said there's so much opportunities. They said there's so much opportunities. They said that, 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 that there's, that there's capital there. But the challenge is red tape to access the capital. They said there's this diff different business development support. But to access those things is a challenge. They said to get assistance from state institutions. Red tape is still a challenge that we are faced with. Entrepreneurs are complaining about the red tape. And entrepreneurs are saying to those that are in the corridors of power, that please deal with the red tape. Deal with processes of starting, of registering a business, of applying for funding, of applying for grants. Red tape is one of the impediments to the growth of SMMEs. The National Development Plan speaks about 90% employment by 2030. If I'm not mistaken, it means the sector has to grow by the about between 5 and 6%, but we're not even sitting at 3.5%. So we're failing. And they're saying one of those challenges is the red tape. There's so many processes, so many documents, so many, so many regulations. And they said another one, we fail. We fail because of trade barriers. It's very difficult, it's very difficult to enter certain fraternities, to enter certain sectors. Because those that are already in those sectors, have built some walls so that no new players can come in. I remember many years ago when I was an advisor as part of government economic cluster, advising small businesses. We, we found it difficult for our entrepreneurs to be part of the pharmaceutical industry as an example. The pharmaceutical industry. Even a simple manufacturing sector. If you want to operate at an extreme level, you find some of the regulations that don't make sense. But amazingly, amazingly, after one political party marched to this big retail store and there was an invite to say, come, invite all SMEs to come and put their product on our shelves, then it means all these trade barriers are man-made. That's one of the impediments to the success of entrepreneurs. Insufficient capital. Entrepreneurs are saying, it's very difficult for us to access capital. We want to expand our operations. We want equipment. We want to, 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 to navigate through export terrains. But we can't. They said we need capital. And the capital is insufficient. The, I spoke about the regulator hurdles that are there. Now talk to us. Good Life Radio our talk, our inspiration. There's been, a, there's been a talk about better life for all, but unfortunately there's no better life that we'll ever experience if we don't wake up and create it ourselves. And this is the platform. 
This is the platform of healing. This is the platform of inspiration. This is a platform of empowerment. This is a platform of hope. This is a platform of motivation. This is a platform of development. This is a platform of nation building. This is a platform of, of, of promotion, of branding. My name is Mighty Magule behind the microphone talking to you. Wherever you are, let's talk. Let's talk. And there's, there have been a number of successes as well. I mean, one of, one of the entrepreneurs spoke about innovation. He said, from the times of COVID to now, we learned how to innovate. We learned how to be dynamic in the ecosystem. Because the, the COVID has taught us that sometimes you fail, not because you have done anything wrong. No, you do everything right, but you still fail. And he said, the reason is that you are not innovative enough. We are reflecting on the successes and failures of entrepreneurs 2023. And some are saying, you need to be dynamic in the ecosystem. You need to be very innovative. You need to be creative. You need to be prolific. And, you know, because remember, excellence doesn't exist. Excellence is the result of a continuous improvement. So as an entrepreneur, you have a responsibility to make sure that you keep on improving your customer service policy. You keep on improving your operation. You keep on improving your interaction with your suppliers. You keep on improving the way you communicate with your employees because employees are asset in the business. The most powerful asset in the business are not merchants and capital in the account. The most important assets in the business are employees. So you need to improve. You need to improve the relationship that you have with your employees. So you need a bit of innovation. So you need the so-called human resource innovation. <laughs> you need human resource innovation. And one other entrepreneur said, Mr. Mogule, you need to be resilient. You need to be resilient. I think one thing that makes us to succeed is because we are very resilient. And remember, you test your resilience by making sure that you deal with challenges. You must fall and rise up. That's part of resilience. Look, we have comments. We have comments. We have comments that will be sharing with you from some of our listeners. Yeah, hey guys, we're live on Facebook. We're live on Facebook. You can connect with us. You know, get to LinkedIn, TikTok. You know, that is Good Life Radio. Your talk, our inspiration. My name is Mighty Mabuli behind the desk. I'm making, I'm making this inspiration contagious. I'm making this motivation contagious. I'm making this empowerment contagious. Talk to me. I'm here. We succeeded because we're, we're adaptable. The adaptability is key. As I've already indicated in the beginning, we have premier personnel that we'll be talking to. We have Chris from the Ladder Institute. We have Tuso from Taro Solutions. Talk to us. Keep on sending the messages. Keep on sending the comments. We are reflecting on the successes and the failure of entrepreneurship, right? You can even go to Mighty Mabuli Facebook page, Mighty Man Mabuli. Check on Facebook, we are live on Facebook. You can connect with us there. Send as many messages as possible. Or go to Good Life Radio Facebook page. Connect with us there. You know, send those beautiful comments. Let's move. Remember, remember, the purpose is to leave this world better than the way we found it. Because the challenges that we have in this world are so uncountable that you don't even start thinking about them. You have leadership challenge in society. You have leadership challenge in politics. You have leadership challenge in religion. You have leadership challenge in business. <coughs> Sorry. You have leadership challenge everywhere. For the past 30 years, you have been promised better life for all. But you can't believe that in some rural provinces, you still have kids that travel through very dangerous rivers full of crocodiles just to go to school. During the course of the week, I was looking at one family in, I think it's Eastern Cape, that has to cross the river. Kalipoki is to go and bury their loved ones. 
because there's no infrastructure. The municipality could not create a bridge. Our education system, according to World Bank, is one of the poorest in the world because it does not produce thinkers, it does not produce farmers, it does not produce entrepreneurs. So the level of hopelessness is so high. So me and you as a responsibility as an entrepreneur to change the narrative and live this world better than the way we found it. Now it's up to you, it's up to me. No one, no Messiah will come from any planet to come and rescue us. It's us entrepreneurs because we are problem solvers. We are here to change the narrative. We are here to leave our footprints in the sand of history. The great Richard Mabonya played this role. The great Richard Mabonya played this role. The great Dr. Musonyani played this role. They played their role. Every generation, out of relative obscurity, will have a mission, but it will be up to that generation to fulfill or portray the mission. Those are the words of the great Frank Fanon, a Pan-Africanist. Now we are the generation of 2023. Ndadema has played this role. played this role. He's watching at the youngsters. He's watching at me and you. They play their role. They play their role. We are the generation of 2023. And the mission that we need to accomplish is to overcome and deal with poverty that is tormenting families. Unemployment. Youth unemployment in terms of the general state of unemployment, I think is sitting at around 40 to 60 percent of youth unemployment. You are kids that go to school and sit at home because our education system doesn't actually propel them towards the direction of production programs. But who should solve that? It's entrepreneurs because they are social thinkers, they are change agents, they are creators of new narrative. My name is Mighty Mabule from Mabule International and Mabule Development Institute. I'm a mentor, I'm a coach, I'm a speaker. Two decades of experience in the ecosystem, in the development of entrepreneurs. And I'm part of Good Life Radio because I want to be associated with a positive narrative. I want to be associated with a good life. And for me, to get to that good life, I must be part of a good vehicle. And that good vehicle is Good Life Radio, our talk. Your inspiration. Let's look at the comments. Let's look at the comments from Facebook. We'll just take two, three. And from there, we'll check our entrepreneurs. Yes, we have comments from Mr. Mashati Makebele Hodi Lambazile. And he's saying, You are speaking facts, Nabi. Oh, thank you. You are speaking facts, Nabi. Thank you, Mr. Lobodi. I really appreciate it, my brother. And you have Maropeni Mashunu. And he's saying, Ki kansa kawena. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Maropeni. Ki kansa kawena pa. Thank you, Maropeni. Oh, and there's a guy called Maranyani Simon. And he's saying, what is the meaning of Chauda? Eish. You see, Mabule is... Uh, Passion in speaking different African languages. Chauta is a language, actually, the language is called Chichiwa, spoken by the people of Malawi. They say Chauta is meaning thank you, Lord, so much. Yes, that's when I was reflecting on Tolim Nanko's song when they say, Ngupila, no one like him, and the people of Malawi are saying Chauta is Thank you so much. And the people of Zimbabwe in Shona, they say, you know, Mazimba. And the people of Mozambique are saying, Moint Obrigado, raise those rays, that is Portuguese. And the people of uh, Opua, there's a place called Opua, I think a few kilometers from Namibia. They're speaking a language called Herero. Yes. They said he's Peke Peke, so there's no one like him. Peke Peke means differentiation. No one like him. That's what Colin Mwangu is saying. I was just saying that in different languages. Yes, Chauda is Chichewa, spoken by the people of Malawi. Thank you, Maranyane. Simon, 
We are Africans. We are Africans. We speak in different languages. Revela la gaspedi. Sirita sin revele. Hmm? We are talking different languages. Talk to us. Talk to us in any language. Let me check. Let me check. Let me check two so. Let me check two so. Two so. Some of the failures that you experienced, you know? You know, uh, 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 looking at 2023, you know, I, I, you know, I had many entrepreneurs saying that was a bad year. That was a bad year. Every corner of, of the country I go to, every uh, pool of entrepreneurs that I mentor, that I coach in my in my field, they always tell me that 2023 was a very bad year. So, what, what's your what's your reflection on that? as we are a small business we are just starting up so we also had um, major problems um, business related so we were also affected by 2023 we also had some business failures but we also managed to have some our services so we actually got to save us quite a few clients which we were <coughs> which we got through the word of mouth and we also got to do new partnership and collaboration with other clients and also uh, fulfilling clients expectations we actually managed to make placements and actually um, assisted a lot of unemployed youth especially to get employment mm. as well mm. Mm. that's impressive that's impressive you, you are part of the family you are part of the family if you are telling us that we're able to to place some some young people in different companies then we belong to good life radio please don't stop listening to us this is a home of inspiration this is a home of development this is a home of empowerment and this is a perfect match premium personnel premium radio keep on listening to us thank you so much my sister for for an opportunity to speak to us we really appreciate it giving me the opportunity to come through uh, to your to your radio station our purpose now we are not alone we are not alone you are not alone moto ke moto ka batho umuntu umuntu ngabantu i am because you are that's exactly what pan africanism is all about and I'm talking pan Africanism because we need to, to arrive at a point where we bring humanity to our capitalist system. Because our capitalist system did not change the lives of the people. <laughs> this is not politics, it's current affairs. <laughs> it's current affairs. Poverty is current affairs. <laughs> Unemployment is current affairs. Societal challenges, socio-economic pathologies that are tormenting us is current affairs. We're talking current affairs. The problems that we have cannot be solved by the level of thinking that created them. We need more innovation. We need more high level of, of, of dynamic mentality. We need to change the narrative. We need to bring hope to this nation because every day, every day, every day, there's bad stories about this beautiful Mother Earth. There's bad stories about this beautiful country. The rainbow nation that was spoken about has turned into something else. And this is not the time to point the fingers. This is the time for us to be united as Africans. Because the greatest enemy of poverty is unity. The greatest enemy of unemployment is unity. The greatest enemy of hunger is unity. The greatest enemy of social economic pathologies that are tormenting our nation is unity. The great Thomas Ankara said, when people unite, poverty trembles. When people unite, poverty trembles because poverty is, a prey, is afraid of unity. We are talking entrepreneurship, and you cannot divorce entrepreneurship from economies. <laughs> you cannot divorce entrepreneurship from politics. You cannot divorce entrepreneurship from, from religion. You can't. <laughs> eh? You can't. You can't. 
Even pastors will tell you, even pastors will tell you that when you talk business, you still talk religion. You cannot divorce. Entrepreneurship. We'll be talking to Chris from a ladder institute. And thanks, Chris, for joining us. Bring change in this country, we need to uplift the standard of education because without education, it will be very difficult for us to have knowledge and information. Thank you for, yes, thank you for being part of the show. Now our topic is a reflection on successes and failures of entrepreneurs looking at 2023. And I, I want you to start with an introduction. What is a ladder institute? You know, just take us through. What is a ladder institute? What makes a ladder different from others? And from there, we'll focus on the failures of, of, of entrepreneurs and we'll go to successes. Thanks, you can shoot. Well, thank you, welcome. Thank you very much for that question. And uh, I'm excited actually to share about you know, the ladder institute. The ladder institute is a company here in South Africa and uh, so far. And uh, we are based in uh, Johannesburg now. Our campus is uh, in Bramley. And um, yeah, more or less that's what we are. And um, our approach in terms of training is, um, you know, action-based. And um, we, we, we try all our best to actually differentiate ourselves by offering uh, training solutions that are relevant, up-to-date, and that are transformational. So we do not just give information. We believe that uh, knowledge must bring transformation. That is our approach and that is our uh, 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 different, uh, different shaping sector. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much, Chris. You know, you know when, when, um, when talking about a ladder institute, I'm, I'm tempted to, to ask you many questions because the state of education in our country is, is, is so bad, it's so bad. I think there's a study, if I'm not mistaken, by World Bank that indicated that uh, our education system is one of the poorest in the world. And when you talk about your, 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 your training, your, your institution offering transformative, you know, relevant, those are big words. I mean, I mean, yeah, I think, I think next time we need to schedule just an interview. We need to schedule an interview. Just talk about the power of education in entrepreneurship because the issue of education in this country, yo, it's a serious problem. It's a very multifaceted problem. Yes. Yeah, so, so please, uh, I hope you will agree to to to, to our invite our producer will engage you and will request that interview. We really have to talk about this. I'm tempted to ask you many questions, especially when you hear, when you use words like transformative, reflective, you know, practical, and looking at our education system, I have more questions than answers. Yeah, Th thanks so much, Chris. Let, 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 let's go straight to, let's go straight to the, to the, to the failures. Let's go straight to the failures, the failures that you experience as a company, you know, as an institution looking at 2023, because I've spoken to many entrepreneurs in the ecosystem and they told me that 2023 was, we all was a bad year, was a bad year. What's your take on that, Chris? Right, on our side, on our side, um, when it came to turn over, it wasn't that bad, but, um, but I think what we could consider as, um, the main three failures on our side could be number one, the failure of uh, converting leads into sales. So you know, we actually checked, you know, on our on our website, we had sixty thousand visitors on our website. And but uh, you know, when you compare that to the number of clients that were actually you know acquired or or, you know, or, what, or brought in, we, you know, we are not even 1% of that. So the failure of converting leads into sales is actually our first biggest failure. And uh, we are actually reflecting and trying to, uh, you know, to understand now how to change that and so on and so on. Maybe that, uh, that's what we can talk about in another day, uh, you know, as a solution to that. The second, the second failure, is um, implementation of processes and systems. So you know, as you know, as the company grows, 
eventually systems and uh, processes are a must. And, uh, but you know, within the team, there are people that also will resist the new processes and will, will resist the new system. And some will even try to sabotage actually the, the new system. So we didn't actually, you know, implement the processes and the systems that we wanted. And I think that also, you know, affected us. Um, they can, you know, facilitate us um, as behaving like teachers. You know, and um, the most probably some don't start even know the difference between being a teacher and being a facilitator, and which actually, you know, would affect the quality of education that as you mentioned. And um, those are the three failures that that, um, that I could share uh, from our side. I don't know if that is enough for, for you. Then. Mm. Well, thank you so much, Chris. Thank you so much, Chris. And I think. And I think what I like about your, your failures is that they are, they, are, they are internal challenges. You know, when we have internal challenges, then you can come up with a strategy to, to kind of, yes, yes. And yeah, I, I can summarize it by saying, at least you have nice problems, Chris. <laughs> no, you have nice problems. Yeah, you have nice problems. As opposed to, yes, as opposed to, you know, some, some companies that were affected by bad economy and, and, and so on and so forth, the red tape, you know. Some, some regulatory hassles, uh, trade barriers, and so on, yeah. And then, uh, thank you so much. Do you want to say something about your the successes? So, successes in 2023, we reached, um, you know, our target well, in terms of the turnover, uh, and uh, we managed to actually get, uh, uh, to get in three new clients. You know, we talk about corporate clients, uh, three new clients and uh, and also we have shifted actually all our business from um, from you know, from um, from uh, manual work or whatever into um, Microsoft 365 so so we are using that now for our communication for our project uh, um, uh, monitoring and so on and so on so yes we are so happy with that and the biggest um, uh, success is that uh, we started the application um, uh, with the CHE, the Council of Higher Education. So we are excited about that. We're going to become soon, you know, um, a member of the CHE, which uh, which will give us more, you know, opportunities of, uh, of of putting together programs at higher levels, bachelor levels, and uh, why not PhD? Mm. So we are actually very excited that we started that, and we're looking forward to actually a very brilliant and very great year here in 2024. Mm. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Chris. Yeah, you know, I'm tempted to ask you many questions, but, but it's fine. It's fine. I've been taking the notes. <laughs> Yeah, so th thank you, Chris, for, for being part of Good Life Radio, our talk, your inspiration. Yes, regard yourself as part of the family because you cannot divorce education from better life. You cannot divorce education from empowerment. You cannot divorce education from, from inspiration. Thank you so much, Chris, for your time. Thanks so much, brother. Really, really appreciate it. Sure. Uh, Eugenica Well, uh, welcome, Eugenica. Welcome, Eugenica. The catlero could be successes in the failure, Serbia Lizona 2023. Hernali, Mr. Tuso, Mr. Tuso, may know, are you there, my brother? Thanks, bro. Thanks, bro. Thanks, bro. Thanks, bro. Tuso, um, we're reflecting on the successes and failures of, of small businesses, Cat 2023. Or matata abile mhona ke a feng re feitse here tla go kae re phasitse here tla go kae jwa re tla mo go wena gore mara thuso re fe gore wena o feitse ge o etla go kae gore mara henge be ke dirile 1 2 3 4 5 ba ba and then eh uh, re fe tsa re successes ke eng e mara pele re tsena o tseo re nya gore fe introduction ya gore mara eh company ya hawe yeah, uh, Taru Solution. Ke in Taru Solution, he did a in the in the level of the river in our mammy river now about Tilly, Baco, Rudira in the not to a mower, Terrano, then our what little like I will feed every time. You can shoot. Yeah, 
Yes, yes, yes. Thanks, my brother. Thanks so much. Thanks so much. Uh, now, the the catalyst of Jelly Belly Lechon. Our the failures. Jelly Belly Lechon, 2023. We're going to be so, 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 so. Never tell us about failure. Because the entrepreneur Jelly Belly Lechon, 2023 was a very bad year. No, failures are some of them. We're going to be talking about government internal issues. We're going to be talking about the mostly. Sometimes they can give you a business, they fail to pay you in advance or the papalago for patella in time. And when the color went up on the Munkoro Topalago Patava, that thing is a very serious effect, especially payment is either a Kitamarasa and God of Smart. Remember already, most of these pre prefabricated buildings, you request a private company, the government institutions. And then the candidate had more government there, because you are the goal the body police station, never the extent that I will have to do. Automatically, once you rely on government, but the same government, you know, like a whole number, a wire of failure, then automatically, the cost of all the old trench, all your employees, because of our son, anything you know, because of where now, our honor survive and tell the government. Yeah, what my culture? What my culture, Mr. Tuso? Because government they hire ma in 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 public platforms in the podium. See, it is too sad for us to put on a rena kavole. Kavole, kavone economy. Eh, kavole an esana for us to put on. Awa, while the my culture, as soon as my time, as soon as I go be idi, as soon as I go look holy. Kavaba inchi ba yukura lo orvala laka mushu. While the my culture or. Evana, ki 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 selo se se juang se se tula nao le musho ka ore musho ore re tleji ore re thuse ba thwa ba tlebe ya but it's understandable because there's a mismatch there's a gap between the nyakwa cha lona di entrepreneurs le government now let's focus on the successes 2023 ke eng yo ka reflect mo yona gore no rona mo 2023 re succeed le ka mokgwao le ka mokgwao le ka mokgwao in 23 for us to connect the fact that pure merge me pure because of which our own private merge in a literal in a private way and besides that the achievement they achieve they go like a concept that we need to manage to our own panel the reason why whether a government in in both or not one to many on a manufacturer the client be going to do the key one of the things they're worrying we shall have to make sure that we are implementing the things that we are going to sustain, and we are going to create the job for our fellow brothers and sisters. Hmm. 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 No, thanks. Thank. Thank. Thanks so much. Thanks so much, uh, Mr. Tusome. No, you are part of Good Life Radio. You are part of the family, and uh, you know I, I was encouraged by your story. You know, you are one of the listeners who is always or mameti every Tuesday. And today, even you are on air sharing with us your experiences, we really, really appreciate. Please don't stop. Please don't stop. Uh, uh, don't stop uh, listening to us. In conclusion, you know, what can you say to startups, business owners? Because um experience or interview because 
is an opportunity to start intelligently. Thank you so much, Mr. Reno. Thank you so much, Kuto. Nice interview. Powerful message. Powerful advice. Hey, I'm even tempted to schedule a full-time interview in the studio. But we'll talk. We'll talk. You're part of the family. You're part of Good Life Radio. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Um, yeah, this is very interesting. This is very inspirational. You know, I'm behind the desk and I feel the inspiration from my interpreter. I'm taking down notes. And I strongly believe that listeners, wherever you are, you are taking down notes. You know, you are taking down notes. Um, mm, mm. I mean, uh, I, I loved what, what Novuyo from Premier Personal actually indicated to say, one of our success stories, one thing that you are proud of is that we're able to remove kids from the street and give them an employment. We are able to look for employment for our young people. Unemployment in South Africa is very rampant, you know. And youth unemployment, for that matter, I think is around to around 50 to 60 percent of the of the general states. Now, personnel, premium personnel is saying we are playing our role. We are playing our role in terms of addressing socio-economic challenges facing South Africa. That is youth unemployment. And we are very appreciative. Thank you so much, Nomvuyo. Thank you so much, premium personnel. To, to Chris. We spoke to Chris from a ladder institute. And Chris is saying, we fully understand and we agree that our education system is one of the poorest in the world. But our unique selling proposition is that we're bringing an education that is very transformative. We're bringing education that changes the minds of the people. That's what Chris is saying. He's saying, no, no. We are not bringing an education here in our cram pass and forget. We are not bringing that. We want an education that will be able to be practical and reflect on the challenges that are facing society. Thank you so much, Chris, for your time. Thank you so much, Chris, for making a promise that one day you will come to a lot of institutes and do PhDs <laughs> and masters. Thank you so much, Chris, for, 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 for that. And we spoke to Mr. Tuso. Yo, now Tuso, hey, Tuso man, Tuso man, Tuso said something very interesting. He said you must love what you do. You must love what you do. Identify your areas of passion. Identify your areas of interest. Identify the areas that you are talented at. So it means you must work on yourself. There must be, there must, you must work on, you must, you must, you must work on the so-called self and personal mastery. Who am I? The great Martin Robinson said something very powerful that was made popular by Rolisa Mandela, and he said, she said, "Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure." Who am I to be talented and fabulous? Who am I not to be? And he concluded by saying, As you let your own light shine, you encourage others to do the same. Now how can you let your own light shine if you're doing what you don't like? How can you let your own light shine if you're not passionate about that particular light inside you? How can you let your own light shine if you are not aware of the, the mineral light that you have? 
How can you let your own light shine if you are not aware of those slumbering powers that we have? How can you have your own light shine if you are not aware of, the, of that unused strength? Dr. Miles Monroe talks about potential, releasing your potential, releasing that unused strength. How can you let your own light shine if you don't believe in the commodity that you have? How can you let your own light shine if you don't believe in the mineral right that you have? How can you let your own light shine if you don't believe in that special gift that you were given by whoever you believe in? Some call him Allah. Some call him Chauda. Some call it Mambo or Mazimambo. Raise those rays. Almost yours, Moari. Whoever, it doesn't matter the name that you give to him. What is important is how can you let your own light shine if you don't believe in that? That's what Chris was saying. Love what you do, be passionate about what you do. Because when you love what you do, you will be able to do self reflection. You'll be able to, to navigate through those powerful terrains of entrepreneurship. Because failure is an opportunity to start intelligently. And Chris concluded by saying, don't wait for quick cash. Because the journey of 1,000 miles begin with a single step. If you think you can do it, you will do it. If you think you're not gonna do it, you're not gonna do it. Let's play a song for a few minutes and when we come back, and I'll tell you your future. Show me your friend and I'll tell you your future. One of the impediments to our own success is the company that we keep. At some point, our own obstacles are companies that we keep. Show me your friend and I'll tell you your future. Because remember, an eagle does not fly with pigeons. An eagle does not keep company with pigeons. An eagle is not afraid of the storm. An eagle does not eat dead meat. It flies above the storm. So check your phone book. Check whether you have eagles or you have pigeons. Check whether you have eagles or with chickens and take a conclusion show me your friend and I'll tell you your future watch your thoughts because your thoughts will become your weight watch your weight because your weights will become your actions watch your actions because your actions will become your character and watch your character because your character will become your destiny so whatever thought that you have, the way you entertain your thought, you are already crafting your own destiny. If you entertain disempowering thoughts, if you entertain negative thoughts about yourself, if you entertain the fact that you are stupid, you will never achieve anything. Your parents never achieved it. You are already shaping your destiny. Then if you believe, you can be a pioneer. If you believe, you are powerful. If you believe, you can leave your footprints in the center of history. Why don't you follow the slogan of a certain sportswear that says, Just do it. My name is Mighty. Behind the microphone. Good life. Good radio. Our talk. Your inspiration. Bye.